Hello friends, welcome back. You know how I love new technology? Uh, today, I'm gonna to take a look at ChatGPT. It's an artificial chat by OpenAI, and it lets you type in sentences, and in the case I'm gonna show you, it delivers code. It's been a bit of a rage on the internet, definitely worth checking out. And I'm gonna take you through and show you a sample chat interaction. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Okay, so let's get started. So here's the chat GPT interface. I'm going to, it's a free, actually free, it's from OpenAI. You can Google for the URL and you can try it out yourself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out in PowerShell how I can um, list a range of numbers and just pick out the even ones. So in PowerShell, uh, list the even numbers for a list from one to 10 and I'll press enter and chat GPT goes off and it starts to explain stuff. And there you have it out of the box. It shows the range operator one dot dot 10 and it pipes it to the where object and uses the modulo, the percent sign, uh, to see if it's equal to zero. And in fact, that will print out the even numbers from one to 10. Notice it also gives an explanation and it gives me an alternative. So if you want, you can, we're showing that you can use a more concise syntax to achieve the same result. I'm not sure this is more concise. I think the first one is. Um, so what's cool is I can now copy the code. Let's go off to a PowerShell prompt. And sure enough, there we go. I can go back and change that, pick out the even numbers from one to 20. Let's say I wanted to do odd numbers next. Well, I can go back to ChatGPT and I can say, now do odd numbers. Let's see if it understands that. And straight away, it figured out from the context of the conversation because it remembers as you go and it knows I want to do the odds. And this is exactly one of the ways you can do it, you can do a modulo two on the numbers coming in. If it's not equal to zero, then it's odd. Or you can say, if it's equal to one, it's also, you can tell it's a odd number. We can copy that back to PowerShell. And there we have our odd numbers. So that's it. Definitely encourage you to go check out chat GPT. This was a simple example of how you can actually start to ask questions, get code results, then, then ask additional questions based on the context of your conversation about the code to get uh, chat GPT to give you even more refined responses. Go check it out and I'll do another video down the road. Thanks for joining.